to a new segment of Daily Dose for Civil Engineer by Abhinta and Make Easy Academy. In this segment, we are delivering a content which is very much important for each and every civil engineers. Now, if someone is asking you a question, what do you know about toughest concrete into the world? Guess, what should be the maximum strength of a concrete? So here is an answer for that question. Concrete is an essential building material in our lives and making it strength offers various advantages. For example, since increasing the strength reduces the cross-sectional area required to withstand a given force, the prospect is for verticalization of buildings. Moreover, ultra-high strength concrete has excellent durability enabling the creation for enduring structures. Ultra high strength concrete technology that exhibits a compressive strength up to 200 Newton per mm square. But is 200 Newton per mm square ultra high strength concrete is toughest in the world? No, it is not. Then which is the toughest concrete in the world nowadays so continuously development is required to fulfill modern day requirements in each and every aspects including concrete so efforts to improve concrete strength have led to reports of porosity free concrete which is known as pfc the hardest concrete tested to that pfc is prepared to very few voids in the final material which gives it its high strength about 400 newton per mm square we can say that 400 megapascal can be applied to pfc before it fails compared with 20 to 30 megapascal for standard concrete concrete is a porous material with voids in its structure but it is known that making the diameter of these voids smaller improves the strength and reducing the amount of voids increases the strength exponential so that is the main technique what we have used for making of pfc so the technique used ordinary high strength concrete is made by adding the ultra fine powder material silica fume to cement to increase the filling properties of bonding materials but because there is a hundred times difference in the particle diameter of cement and silica fume found that there still existed voids between powder particles so we can say that in high strength or ultra high strength concrete we have replaced a voids by filling a silica fume but there is the gap due to the variation of size so it doesn't get the highest strength into the world that's why we have replaced that's why we have modified that material so to create extremely fine powder by adding particles with a size intermediate between cement and silica fume. So in ultra high strength concrete, we have used cement and silica fume. But in, during the making of PFC, we have used intermediate size particle between cement and silica fume. So you can see over the image, over the left hand side, it is the particle distribution of UHSC. Whereas in the right hand side, it is the distribution of PFC. Almost all the voids have been filled by the intermediate particles. Because bonding materials of ultra high strength concrete are mixed with extremely little water content, there is not sufficient moisture for hydration reaction of cement as well. Therefore, leaking reaction water is forcibly supplied from the exterior by performing 30 minutes of water treatment on one to two day old concrete so here we are applying the curing technique by externally performing the water because there is a very little water content inside the concrete so there are two water absorption methods degassing and boiling so we can say that we are applying the steam curing and heat curing in during making of this concrete so extremely low void ratio of no more than one percentage which we have achieved during the making of pfc so this is a backscattered electrons image over the right hand side you can see that 
heavier elements appear brighter and lighter elements appear darker. So these results reveal that in contrast to the several percentages of voids contained in conventional ultra high strength concrete, no more than one percentage of extremely fine structures had performed in PFC. Here C pertains to unhydrated cement and P pertains to voids. You can see that there is a very little amount of voids available into the concrete. But we have to verify it with the strand. So the water absorption treatment supplies water to the voids during demolding. And it was found that more than saturation increases, the more the compressive strength following heat cure is enhanced. This allowed for compressive strength to reach a maximum of 464 Newton per mm square strand, average value from test with three different specimens. We can compare in the image. The first one, which is PFC, which is made with a diameter of 50 mm mold, which is getting a strength of 464 Newton per mm square, which is highest into the world, or we can say that this is the most toughest concrete into the world. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe our channel for such kinds of videos. And please like our channel, like this video and share it to your friends.